up YouTube? This your boy down low back with another reply. This one is the look great. Church Clothes, the mixtape. And this mixtape is solid, man. Top to bottom. The songs that I really liked off this mixtape is that Cold War, Welcome to H-Town, Price of Life, No Regrets, and Rejects. But I'll tell you what I like the most about this mixtape. Basically how he put it together and how he's been marketing it. See, as he said in the beginning of the mixtape, a lot of people tried to put him in a box. Basically say that he's only a gospel rapper, when truly, he is much more. The way he put this mixtape together, he has aspects of a lot of different hip-hop genres. And you can tell by the features. First of all, you gotta look at the DJ, DJ Cannon. When you have a DJ for your project, that's promotion. And usually DJs cater to certain aspects of the game. DJ Cannon caters to hardcore hip-hop audience. And also, he went out and got a beat from Boy Wonder, who is a producer for the hardcore audience as well. But then he went out and got production by Ninth Wonder. And then he got a feature by No Malice, who is basically Malice, but he went conscious with his style. So, he got a lot of aspects of conscious rap because Ninth Wonder is a conscious rapper's producer. This is damn near a total hip-hop album, and I like that aspect of it. Because typically when people try to go out and get all these other genres within hip-hop, they usually be like, okay, we need to make a song for the thugs, make a song for the clubs, make a song for the hoes, song for the East Coast, song for the West Coast, and the album comes out totally fucking garbage. But in this aspect, Lecrae just did whatever the hell he wanted to do, and while doing that, he crossed a whole bunch of lines. But anyway, on to today's article. And today's article is, money cannot buy you style. See, when you have money, you can go out and buy all the expensive clothes. You can go out and buy all the expensive cars and all of that. But in essence, that doesn't give you style. See, style basically comes from within. That comes with your confidence. And it comes with your creativity to come up with your own look. To come up with your own sound. Like, let's be all the way real here, man. Money ain't shit. Because there's plenty dudes like industry executives who got money, but yet they go out there wearing the same fucking suits. Every last one of them look like each other. That dependence on money is why most of these dudes will never get any style. Like the brokest of people are those who got the most style. 